New tonight, millions of people have them, and most don't even know it. Yeah, we're talking about eye mites. A doctor recently diagnosed our own Ted Scouten with them, so we couldn't help but tag along when he went in for a checkup. And the cat sleeps next to me. The cat sleeps over my head. The cat sleeps on my back. The cat sleeps on my chest. The cat sleeps in the pillow next to me. Um, but now the cat doesn't do that anymore. That's because just a few months ago, the eye doctor discovered demodex mites, known as eye mites, along the base and lid of Ted's eyelashes. I, I'd never heard of eye mites, so when he said I have eye mites, it was like, oh, this is really gross. I mean, so I, I, yeah, I freaked out a little bit. So what are eye mites? The mites, which are spread by pets and people, spend most of their time buried in our hair follicles. They love bodily real estate that's flooded with oils, which explains why they love our faces, to crawl, eat, and reproduce. They try to avoid light, so what ends up happening is, as uh, awkward as this sounds, when we go to bed at night, they come out and they mate. And they will literally come out and actually uh, reproduce. Ted was diagnosed with eye mites two months ago. He wipes his eyelids twice a day with tea tree oil wipes, but today is the next big step in his treatment. We're going to be performing a procedure that's going to exfoliate all the dead cells, all the dead critters from your eyelashes. I'll be gentle, and here we go. We're exfoliating the biofilm, the debris from both biological matter, from bacteria, and just from literally years worth of buildup that resides on the actual lip margins. It just feels weird because I'm not used to having anyone <laughs> that close to my eyes. It is kind of like a spa experience for your eyelids and lashes and perhaps the critter's worst nightmare. After about 20 minutes, the procedure is over. I'm going to let you sit back and relax, wipe away as much as you like. Wow, my eyes look a lot cleaner. And again, I got this likely because of my pets. These little mites, Demodex, are found everywhere. And as far as pet owners, in my experience, when patients have pets, I've been finding that they tend to have more Demodex in their eyes than non-pet owners. Does it seem like they're all gone? All the actual debris that was clinging to the lashes has been removed. The question that remains is, do we have live products still physically in the actual eyelids? And now back at home, Ted is just a lot more careful with his pets. It's not a matter of getting rid of your pets. It's a matter of just being more aware, I think, right. of washing your hands and knowing that things can be in your hands, whether it's from your pets or anything else. You don't want to touch your eyes because you don't know what you might transfer on there. Dr. Herskovich says it's critical to get your eyes checked and to keep the glands in your eyes from getting clogged. It can lead to permanent damage, including blurred vision and dry eyes.